How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another lost and damned walkthrough video. Um, I thank you all for subscribing, those who are subscribing. I'm hoping to get 100 subscribers, and hopefully by the end of the year, of the year, 1,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, hit the like button at least. And if you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. The more subscribers I get, the more I am able to make a little extra money on my videos. And if you really want to stay informed, hit the bell icon. Because I post four times a week. I've been able to do that so far. Haven't messed up. In fact, I'm posting more than four times a week at times. Some of the videos I'm posting are not related to video games. They're related to other hobbies I have sort of gotten reinvolved in, but not as much as I used to. And I think they're at least entertaining and hopefully informative, but I digress. I am doing this next mission. It's called End of the Chapter. And Jimmy contacts Johnny about talking to Brian. Brian is the guy who was with Johnny and Jimmy and Billy to try and sell the triad back, the um, medical supplies they had appropriated, and that fell apart. Billy ended up arrested, and Brian blames Johnny for Billy's predicament. And so you have the lost motorcycle chapter is now divided. One of the things I can tell you right now is whenever you go on a mission if in the Lost and Damned with Johnny, arm him up to the teeth. Max out every weapon. Have the carbine rifle, the automatic shotgun, and have some rocket-propelled grenades ready, and have a submachine gun. And again, Get as much ammo as you can get. In fact, this mission is easier to complete if you have the automatic shotgun and you usually you get it in the um uh heavy toll mission that you do for Elizabetta. And you don't have to do the missions in the order I'm posting them which is actually kind of the way you want to do them. You get armament, etc. Well, again, that automatic shotgun helps out on this mission really big time, and you will see why. So let's get on with this mission called End of the Chapter. Hey, here comes the big man. Gentlemen. Hey, hey, and Johnny. Hey, hey, what's the plan? We spoke to that fat fuck, Brian. He wants to sit down and call a truce. Brian <laughs> wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd All say. Right, let's do it. During this motorcycle ride to meet Brian at the docks, there is a back and forth between uh, Johnny and Jimmy. And you get the idea that uh, Johnny is not real happy about talking to Brian. And you can kind of read it, looking forward to seeing Brian. No, I would not trust myself. You talk. You know, you can read it. And now I'm going to fast forward to the meeting. I 
Here comes Tweedledum and Tweedle fucking dumb. Fuck you. Billy was always good to you and you ratted him out. Billy's a one-way SOB and he don't give a shit about the brothers. No, uh-uh. Yeah, you think Billy'd stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. You did it, you did it. You did it, you did it. I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable. Wow. Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. And your babysitter, Billy, is on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. That's your call, you Get the boy. fuck out of town. That's your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers. Right now, this battle is best taken out with the automatic shotgun. You might try and use the submachine gun a little bit, but you're better off flipping to the automatic shotgun, and you'll see why, because you can take these guys down quickly, and I'm going to let the battle play out. You can, uh, oh, gee, I just shot Jimmy there. There's a guy hiding behind. But anyway, again, you see how easy it is with the automatic shotgun. And then the next event, keep the automatic shotgun and keep fighting. Again, I'm going to let this play out because it's a pretty good battle. The automatic shotgun you also can focus on shooting vehicles and yeah those things go up in flames real quick when you hit them with this automatic shotgun i mean look at the guys already they're on fire and getting taken down and the guy hiding behind the van well all you gotta do is blow it up this thing is again the best weapon to have for this mission For this part of the mission, the submachine gun is the best part. Now, you just want to stay up and chase Brian's faction uh, until you get into some clear areas where you can take some shots at them. And it's going to be a long chase. So, what I'm going to do is fast forward to some key points because again you're pursuing these people and you want to be able to take clear shots at them don't split up just stay with the main group and eventually they're going to bunch back up together here at the dock area again i'm going to fast forward a little bit to another key part what's interesting is some of these guys you are pursuing have their back tire blown out and they're sparking 
and they'll still manage to outrun you if you don't stay on top of them. So again, what you got to do is just stay close and take your opportunities to fire. And that guy right there, he just kind of pass by and you go for the larger group. Eventually, they will bunch up and you'll be able to take some shots and take some guys down. And again, I'll fast forward to a key point. Well, this guy, yeah, taking these two down, possibly, or just passing them up, they're going to shoot at you. And this guy, I can try and take down. Looks like we're going to get bunched up just a little bit. So I'm pursuing the lead guy, and I'm going to shoot at him where I can. And, yep, he's down. And this guy's coming around. You kind of got to just shoot at these guys. And there they go. There's another guy. You can shoot him. That's another guy down. And again, I'll fast forward a little bit to the next major event. It's been kind of a long, chaotic ride to try and get these guys down. And this is the next group of people down, the riders down. And there is the other guy. Shoot at him. So I'm going to leave one guy behind and try and take this guy who I just uh, popped his back tire. I'm going to pursue him. And he is now here at this gas station and yeah he's just sitting there so I'm gonna strafe him there's Jimmy there now that guy's down and this last guy he's sitting right here doing nothing and so I'll just strafe him and he's not going down what the hell the guy is just sitting there. Okay, yeah, now he's down. Now I can return to Jim, and let's continue on with this mission here. Okay, hold on here. Jim is actually at the gas station. So let's get wheeled around here and return to meet Jim and figure all of this out. And here we go. Looks like we're about all that's left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian, that little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah, maybe. See you soon, brother. What's interesting is you automatically return to the Lost Clubhouse. And now I'm going to get uh, Johnny some body armor and possibly arm him up again here. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon because I post a lot of videos throughout the week, and they are a lot of fun. As always, thanks for stopping by. Here is my first attempt at the mission, and Brian's faction got away. That sucked. Those damn traitorous bastards got away from us, Jim. I'm sorry. Don't apologize, Johnny. Brian's the one with something to be sorry for. Another time. 